Hi guys, good afternoon. I finally put some of my garden back to normal. Look at this beautiful a Arizona Sun Gailardia. It's blooming and this one's gonna bloom keep blooming until frost. Look at that, it's so pretty. Look at these bees. Plenty of pollinators. Yeah. And my dear lily guys are coming, budding. These are the birded iris that I missed. A lot of the flowers that I miss. The, mostly the peonies. I miss the bloom. Yeah. And this is the annuals that I put in the in this wooden barrel. I put um sunflower dwarf uh, dwarf sunflower teddy bear. There are four in here. And they already have some heads. And I also have this uh, squash in there. I don't know. I just put the seeds oh, and the sprinklers on. Had to turn it off. But look at that. In the background over there, far away, are the weeping roses. Still have a few daisies. And. These are the calendula seeds from last year. They're growing. I'm gonna transplant some of that. And look at this. I planted this. Um. This is my. This are the seeds from my own daily list that I um, germinated. I kept two from the previous year. This one here is already budding. I planted this in here like um, last year. And there's another one here, see, budding. It would be the first time flowering for me from seeds. And I have some dianthus here. This smells so wonderful. Yeah. The poppies are going into seeds. Yeah. That's different color of dianthus. They really are pretty. Smells wonderful because of them here. Yeah. Look at that. Red carnation. That's the donkey ears. I got plenty of that one and I also um throw a lot of them. That one. My husband hibiscus needs some um saving dust. Because the um, caterpillar just eating the leaves away from there. Look at that. Even that lily in there. The short lily. And the leaves are just bad. And another dwarf teddy bear sunflower. Yeah, they're gonna be so pretty in there in the mid, um, mid to late um, summer. Look at that guy, it's so hot. And I, me, my husband and I are so busy putting back the yard together. You know, it's been like so busy lately here since we arrived back home. Yeah. Look at that, guys. That's my, um, some of the, um, Weeping roses, they really took a lot of damage from a storm when we were away. Have a storm, and my uh, old passion daily they are starting to open up. That's the first one to open. My three hydrangeas are almost budding. This one, the bearded iris in here, are done. It was done when we arrived, and uh, still the oro de lily are flowering now. This one from yesterday. Look at that. More, more buds. They have a grassy kind of leaves. Look at that. Yeah, more buds in there. And these are my um, 
Coryopsis. That looks sunflower like. Yep. And we'll look at the fruit trees. I have more um, wildflowers growing here in front of my yard. More of the Coryopsis. My balloon flowers are really in shape now. getting bigger the daisies are going to seeds now there are sort of columbines but there are more day lilies in there and the rudbeckia yeah very nice and look at this guys that's um Arizona sun gailardia from the seeds of the other uh, bush that I have. They're self seeding. Plenty. And these are the rudbeckias. Uh, maybe this. Um, these are the solar eclipse. Yeah. I like those better than uh, Black Eyed Susan because they are, they are bigger. bigger. More of the old fashioned day lilies in here. Yep. That's the hydrangea. And that's my uh, fruit trees in there the plums and the apple behind it. Look at, look at the fruits of the plums. Look at that, guys. There are plenty of fruits right there. A lot of them have fallen off too. The tree did all, did all the thinning for me. Rejected a lot of fruit. Okay. And in the background over there, I have some... Uh, Lily tree it's coming along. This a lot of fruits, guys. I have to put this wood in there because we are top heavy that you know it's just drooping in the ground. So there's a few uh, one apple in there fruit. There's a few apple. That one, the apple, apple. Some of the apples are lost too. Yeah, that's another apple, and there's more in the top. This year she had plenty of flowers, but only a few fruit sits in. There's more in there. Yeah, look at this, guys. Huh? This is the plum again. Look at this heavy branches and really the little more. It's kind of dark, isn't it? And these are the one that I am uh, put in the knit bag. Look at that. It is drooping. When we were away, there was a um, storm, really bad storm that, you know, and there were heat waves and there were cold snaps. It's just horrible weather. Look at all that stuff. There's a bunch of them. And they are so very pretty to look at. Yeah. Look okay, at they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger, but by the minute. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay. Oopsie. The roses.
Yeah, the roses don't like too much rain. Hmm. But they are growing again. A new shoots, roses. Yeah. Now I've been rearranging my plants on orchids too, rearranging. Oh, on the top of that one, I can see some of the dainty roses. Yeah. Yeah, the road, white rhododendron are done. We missed it again. Look at the roses. It's suffered damage from lots of rain. Yeah. Look at that dainty roses right there. And behind this um, Asian pear that planted from seed. It's like a, that one right there. Uh, is the lily tree and this guy is uh, one of my citrus plants that has a lot of bud before I left and I think it's producing fruits this one example right there just a tiny tiny fruit right now baby and there's some in the, in the back right there they're so tiny right now. This one right here. Wow, the bald spot are filling in. There's some new leaves coming. Yeah, it's filling in. And this is the tangerine, the sour tangerines. Hmm. It's filling up too because I pruned this so hard. Like the just prone it in there really cut all those big branches because she used to be so huge and now it's it's filling up again look at that but it's more lush here and new leaves nice and in the background of there by the fence are the rosa rugosa very nasty rose plenty plenty of thorns yeah the peaches the one are, is shooting so fast, so high now. Look at that. My goodness. It's growing so fast. And look at these fruits of the raspberries. Plenty. Millions of of these raspberries here that's my astelby got shaded by the by the raspberries and uh, the one that I decided to show you guys the first time ever my American persimmons are flowering I never expected the flowers to be so tiny this is dubbed the food the fruit of the gods Look at that, it, the flowers reminded me of the lily of the valley, but smaller. It's, um, it started as white, now it's um, creamy, creamy yellow. Look at that guys, she has plenty and there's a lot of bees in there. It's time for the bees. Every branch of these American persimmons have a bunch of um, fruits. I don't know if it's gonna turn to fruit though but I can only hope because there's so many bees and pollinators in there other pollinators pollinators other than bees yeah there's a lot there that's she's the one that it's I didn't disturb the roots so she grew faster than her sister down here and they're supposed to be the same she got plenty but this one here I disturb um, my hobby and I disturbed this one, but we replanted her again and put a lot of fertilizer, compost, and stuff, good stuff in the soil. But look at that, she only have a few, few blooms, but it's okay. Maybe next year she'll catch up with her sister. Yes, we'll get a few. 
Ayan, the sunchokes are growing, growing faster while we are away. Look at that. That side there are the sunchokes, and this one here are the raspberries. I tell you guys, there's, there are plenty of raspberries. Yeah. Those are the wild raspberries. I mean, um, blackberry on there. The wild, wild, wild. And that's the premiums that got choked out. And I planted squash right there. That is the cherry tree from the ground level. Right here, the cherry tree is planted in the higher level in my part of my yard so started to turn red didn't turn big though that's a new thing that my hubby and I built for my orchids look at the fern so massive I had to thin that again my goodness oh, bunch, bunch of growing it's green I had a few blueberries, just a few, I had to give them coffee again. And I have my tomatoes here, it's, it shoot out, when I left it's only like maybe an inch tall, look at that one now. And this lemon here, I really cut this so bad, I mean lime. So it's a, it's really filling up again. Oh, see that, guys? That's why I like to cover my orchids now. Because, oh my god. Oh god, that's fast. I don't like him. This is my orange tree. In a pot, of course. I trimmed that uh, in the top. Look at that. It's fully filled up. Again my Oof. yesterday it was a cutting the grass time yesterday it was a mess more of this one I've been um really trimming the citrus plants and now they're under filling back in this is the oh pardon the mess I still have a lot to do in this guard in this yard guys yeah, this is the lemon tree. Yeah, my goodness, eh? Look at the mess, guys. And this is my um, oh, it's so called kind of lily, very nice leaves. Yeah, I will winter this one um, in the basement. Last um yeah last winter yeah and it's it's still alive okay let me show you the cherries this is my Mont Montmorency cherry tree it has a lot of fruit this year these are for the birds I don't like. It's starting this sour. It has a few colors in there in the top now. Very nice. I just like the colors of them. Yeah. Look at this. It's plenty in that side. Yeah. Montmorency cherry tree. Cherry fruit. The hydrangea are waking up. We got a bunch of um, daily leaves in there. Yeah. Go back. This is, this is the thing that my husband and I build. There we came back. I'll do the separate update on the on the orchids. My Rose of Sharon. They're gonna wait until uh, they're gonna flower in the. Mm, the late summer 
or early fall. Yep, the daylilies are starting to open. Old fashioned daylilies. And that's uh, Asiatic lily right there. And look, guys, this is my third persimmon tree. The fourth one is still a baby. Look, I am surprised that this one just got a blooms. Could I, but it's only a few because she's only very small plant because uh, there's a um, lot of shade in this area so I just let her live here because I ran out of space to plant trees yeah and there's a few in there here and there that I found see it been maybe it's gonna pop more flowers but that's the beginning guys that's the beginning of the American persimmon flowers there why it looks like um teardrop they turn into looks like the looks like uh looks almost like the lily of the valley ones flowers look at that but this is the american persimmon tree and it's really smell amazing here because of this this is the oh hummingbird's favorite what are you um Honeysuckles, yep. Yeah. I ordered the red one, the huge honeysuckle, the honeysuckles that it's colored red. But they sent me this white, yellow, and white, I mean, creamy yellow. Look at that, there's white and a creamy yellow. So there's a lot in there. The other side, opposite, it's with the clematis. They're just, I'm just mix up, mixing up the, all the vines. You can see a bunch of flowers in there. Yeah. Three hydrangeas in there too. <clears throat> Goodness. There's one peach in there. Peach that I got a handful right here, but they're not gonna turn into an adult size because hmm, peaches love sun but this one's only they only get like a morning sun up until noon they don't get to mature it's fine all done oh for i forgot this is uh, grapes guys when i left they're just like so with the flowers and look at it now we got plenty of um grapes forming Look at that. This year had plenty of them. But the leaves are really not looking good though. Because of the um, gypsy moth. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. My goodness. These are my orchids. I'm gonna do a separate video with them. Look at this. More grapes in there. More grapes. More grapes. More grapes. And that tall stuff inside right there are my um, um sugar snappies, my favorite snacks. Right? They have um pods now, but still small. And these are the three different color of um bush beans yeah and i just planted a bunch of um squash right there i forgot um it could be a butternut squash or a spaghetti squash either way i like them yeah look at that they got shaded too my goodness these are my container garden guys heirloom tomatoes two varieties look at that they're shooting up so quickly they like the rains and sprinklers right look at that and the celery that i planted from the uh, olive over from um I, from the store thing then i uh keep the center and I planted it so 
That's what it look like now. They're so tall. Yeah. Celery. And that's uh, carrots right there. It needs weeding. And this one there are um, mm, a scallop type of um, zucchini, I think. And this, those are more, um, uh, there's eggplant in there where all the weeds, eggplant and a couple of tomatoes again. Yep, I need to go in here and then pluck all the weeds. That's for sure. My goodness. My kiwi don't, didn't do anything yet, so. Potted strawberries. My avocado got sunburn. Oh, she needs water bad. See, it's dropping. Yeah. She needs water. And I have some squash in there and a bunch of strawberries. And the, Oh, there's strawberries right there. Hang on. Let's see, I'll show you. There are strawberries right there. It's ripe already. But this one needs weeding badly. And that right there are the elephant garlic. And it's already have um scapes right there. I need to cut them. Yeah. Or I can let them bloom. Maybe I'll cut them later. Yeah. And look at the strawberries coming out. Look at that. Is that right there yet? Yeah. yeah, I'll bet there are more strawberries in there. And the comfrey are growing again. Oh, some of my um, sugar snap peas are. Look, it has a pads and some flowers. More garlic. Look at that. The sugar snap peas are getting better. Yeah. Oh, more strawberries. Some of them get eaten by slugs, but they are they are a good size one. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, that one's in the ground. There are more strawberries. Wow. Oh, there are more strawberries in there. My goodness. The birds didn't see them because it's covered with um, their leaves and the weeds and stuff like that, so. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. And a bunch of different flowers, the hosta, the, the dragon of false dragon heads, the phlox. Still here. Some of the, oh, the Stella de Oro, they're the first to um, flower of the day lilies yeah so more dragon head uh, false dragon head oh my goodness these are the latest bed guys and some carrots look at that there's some um, volunteer tomatoes growing in between the lettuce it's a purple lettuce look at that I think I'm gonna harvest them we're ready to harvest for my husband and look at what happened to my um, bok choy or bok choy. It turned into seeds. You can eat those, but I don't want to. So I will turn it into um, real seeds and keep them because I'm low, low of the other seeds anyway. So I'll try again next season. But there's tons and tons of them. <laughs> look at that. It's um. It has been, uh, the weather here has been so awful, especially when we were away because it's so hot in the daytime and then it drops in the evening and I also see a lot of damage from my um, orchid that way. Look at this, they bolted and some of, uh, most of my radishes too bolted. Uh, no radishes for my hobby this season. Oh, and I have that, bell pepper. Yeah, so when I have the guava, right there. Yeah, look at it, guys. That's the eggplant. And that's the heirloom tomato, too. Look at all the weed. And this one, this tomato. It's amazing. It has some flowers now. 
it's also an um, heirloom tomato yep we'll see yeah the bell pepper it's the guava that i have so many guavas before but this is the one i kept it has a peony seed in there I don't know. This is the apple that I planted with my, without my husband's knowledge. <laughs> and the Napa cabbage that I saved the center from the store. I like Napa cabbage. Put it in there. <laughs> cool. More lettuce in this container. And all that thing in there bolted. <laughs> Radishes. Pak choy. Oh my. And look at this. Just a preview of the so you got thousands of raspberries in here thousands plenty of raspberries lots of pollinators pollinated them yeah and this is the early salad tomato guys it shoot out oh my goodness oh I need to turn off the water in here and the roses right there plenty yeah Beautiful roses. Look at that. And these are the Maximilian sunflowers. Oh my God. Daylilies. Oh, not, oh yeah. These are lilies and uh, flower of the donkey ears. We'll see what else are in here. God. The yellow lilies are open. Yeah. Okay guys, thank you for um, watching this uh, garden of mine. This is uh, a tour for this one. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Bye.